Hello, welcome to InLab. I'm Nan Jiang, a first-year PhD student in InLab. Now, I'm working on defective interfering particles, also called DIPs. DIPs are virus-like particles. They arise during virus growth, but are unable to cause productive infection. However, when DIPs and normal virus co-infect the same cell, defective genomes compete with the normal viral genomes for replication and encapsidation resources, amplifying DIPs at the expense of virus particles. And it was also found that DIPs can activate cellular antiviral response. Now, we are interested in if DIPs of human coronavirus exist and have such effect. Feel free to contact us if you are interested in our lab or my project. I'm Hui Chun, a senior resident in chemical and biological engineering and the in lab. I work on the dynamics of virus host interaction and use the time lapse microscopic imaging a lot. This is our microscope. Images taken by that microscope can be converted to movies like this. This one shows an infection by an engineered vascular stomatitis virus that expresses red fluorescent protein. Each red dot was an infected cell. We can watch cells turn fluorescent positive over time. We also co-infected cells with an artificial effect interfering particles or DIP that expresses green fluorescent protein. And by changing the ratio of DIP versus concomitant virus, we saw different spreading patterns. The cells with signals from both virus and DIP appeared yellow. We can quantify the viral protein expression in individual cells over multiple rounds of infection from those movies and build math mathematical models to describe the competing dynamics between virus and DIP based on that. The part of my project is about Zika virus infection and vaccine production. Zika virus caused the pandemic in 2015, resulting in pregnancy losses and baby birth defects, and it may break out again elsewhere. We need vaccines against it, but they are still in clinical trials. We measured the growth of the Zika virus, showing that it can replicate in cell culture thousands of times in about 90 hours. And we are also building mathematical models to maximize virus growth for vaccine production. If you have questions about my project or want to know more about the InLab, please feel free to contact me at this email address. The InLab also studies the chemical origins of life, which is my primary project. I'm Haley, a third year in the chemical engineering department, and I'm recording this from home right now because I've already shut the lab down for the holidays, but normally I work at the Wisconsin Institute of Discovery, which is a fairly new building that has a lot of useful resources. In my experiments, I react amino acids together to study the origin of short protein-like molecules on the early Earth. These experiments don't take a lot of specialized equipment to perform, they just use lab chemicals and heating blocks. To analyze the molecules made in these samples, I use high-performance liquid chromatography. Our HPLC machine and some of our lab space is pictured here. I also work with a great collaborator from the Lingjin Lee Lab in the pharmacy department to analyze the samples using tandem mass spectrometry. If you have questions about my project, the Yin Lab in general, or would just like to see more of the lab, feel free to contact me or John over email.